Well, this is my uh, man cave, you might say. And if you look around the room, you can tell I'm rather obsessed by uh, firearms. Specifically, this collection is mainly World War I vintage bolt action uh, rifles and pistols of a similar nature. But the rifles in particular, well, I should say something. In my day to day dealing with things like uh, shopping and the like, what I do is I usually use cash. And then when I'm uh, done for the day, I'll, I'll put the coins into a coffee can and then I uh, stash the dollar bills, just the one dollar bills and the five dollar bills, <coughs> into another coffee can. And when I get twenty one dollar bills, I wrap them up into a little bundle. And then when I get five of those twenty dollar bundles, I wrap them up into a big hundred dollar bundle. And the same thing if I get twenty five dollar bills, I wrap them into a bundle. Well, that's my mad money. <coughs> and I put it away and just use it as my mad money. Well, there's one thing I don't have on this shelf. It's not a World War I vintage rifle, but it is a, a rifle of a, a European power who I've always wanted one of. And I actually had one. If you look up at the top rifle there, that is a Swiss Model 1911. Uh, oh gosh, it's got a name. I forget what his name is. Um, sort of like this one is a Swede Carl Gustav. This one is a, what is it called? A Schmidt Rubin. That is a Schmidt Rubin up there. It's been sporterized. I got it cheap at a gun show. But it's, it's, uh, has, it has a sibling, a much more modern sibling of a bolt action rifle. It's called a K31. And I've always wanted one. Well, a pawn shop near me had one. And I bought it. And this is my new K31. Well, one thing you learn about K31s is that. In the, in the Swiss military, remember the Swiss, everybody served in the Swiss military and in Switzerland. And what they would do is they would pull this butt plate off and write down personal information about the rifle, the person who this rifle was assigned to. And they left it in there. Well, when these were surplused, they left that in there. And if you look, sometimes you will find the little slip that says it was owned by somebody or another. Well, I looked, and this is it. I hope that's in focus. Let's try several angles and see if we can get it. See, this this is a camera really has this has a fixed focal length, so very difficult to focus in. But from what I've read, it looks like it was owned by a Peter Bachman, uh, Nat Sap. Stabsky 32, Basel. So that means Basel, Switzerland. And past Wangler, Wangler 52. I'm thinking that's 1952. And then I think this is his uh, service serial number at the end. I'm going to uh, find out online if there's a way I can find out if his family would like to know whatever happened to his rifle. And if they're interested, I'll let them know. But anyway, that's just one of those little human interest side steps. And once I find that out, I'm putting this right back in there. <laughs> because it belongs with this rifle. And the way I look at it is, I'm a collector, a hoarder of, of bizarre rifles. But just as I am with books and other things I collect, I'm only the caretaker of these things for a generation. One day, they pass from me to someone else. And at that time, they'll want to know who this person was. So, but isn't this a lovely rifle? They, they made them in two standard things, walnut stock or beech. And this one's in walnut stock. Uh, they're, they're noted for, for several things. For one thing is this, this ring pull uh, safety. This is called the, uh, the beer keg charging handle. And I think it's a five-round magazine, and they hold uh, 7.5 Swiss. So that actually, it's the same round that that Carl Gustav shoots. And as a service rifle, I have heard this is one of the most accurate ones around. One of the actual most accurate service rifle ever is that Carl Gustav right there. <laughs> that, I, I have fired it, and that thing is unbelievably accurate. It's more accurate than I am. 
but I've always wanted one of these and now I've got one. My coffee can is empty and i got to start filling it up again.